In my Robot Monster video, I asked the question of whether or not that particular movie would be remembered so well if the filmmakers had gone with a more conventional design than the extremely bizarre but completely unique creation that they came up with. Well, it looks like we'll be asking that question again today regarding a decent, if not especially great movie that still boasts one of the weirdest, most laughable, and still absolutely memorable monsters of its era, the Giant Claw. So there's two things about this movie that have made it the source of ribbing from Monster Kids. One is the dialogue and the endless use of the phrase, big as a battleship. It gets mentioned in the film a lot. Not just by nearly all of the main characters, but even the narrator ends up throwing around that description so often you'd swear it was a running gag. Well, it is now with anyone who's seen this movie, and you know what? If it's somehow ingrained the memory of this film into your brain, then maybe the filmmakers were onto something. Hell, maybe I can make you all remember these rotten drawing videos if I start repeating a phrase like... Um... <sighs> Gimme a cookie. There, now I'll just repeat that here and there until it sinks in. Gimme a cookie. Okay, moving along to the other most memorable thing about the giant claw. Gimme a cookie. The monster itself. There's no denying just how goofy this thing looks. It's simply unbelievable. If this creature were hanging out backstage on The Muppet Show, it would fit right in, but in a science fiction movie with a pretty serious tone that's as big as a battleship, give me a cookie, it clashes so much that you almost can't take anything seriously. There are stories told that the actors had no idea what the creature would look like when they were making this, and supposedly were so embarrassed at the film's premiere that they quietly snuck out of the theater. I don't know if that story is true or not, but give me a cookie. Now, is it really a bad design? To me, eh, maybe if the big ping pong ball eyes weren't so huge and cartoony, it could have worked. I know lots of birds actually have big eyes, but give me a cookie. There's actually some great moments here and there, especially when the jet pilot ejects into the air and is eaten right up by the flying monster, a moment that I'm sure inspired a similar scene in the 2019 Godzilla King of the Monsters when Rodan does the same thing. Now, should the ultimate goal of a movie to be memorable instead of actually being a good movie? To that I say... it depends. I think it's just sort of one of those things that happens by accident, since there are a lot of movies, good and bad, that are never remembered, while a lot of other movies, again good or bad, give me a cookie. In the end, it's just up to the filmmakers themselves to decide what works best with what they've got. And if they decide to use gorilla suit robots, pie pan UFOs, or big doofy birds on wires, then more power to them. Thanks for watching, and let me part by saying... <gasps> I'm actually on a diet, so just eat those cookies yourselves.